guys? So today, uh, we've got a comparison video uh, with many different types of all-terrain tires. So we have the Hankook Dynapro AT2, we have the Cooper Discover AT3 4S, we have the General Grabber ATX, and we also have the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac. Now, this will be a great video to give you some insights on each of the tires and also let you take a look at the uh, tread pattern for each uh, with them side by side. Now, I do have detailed videos for each if you'd like to see those. Uh, this I'll be talking about in a high level for each of the tires uh, and hopefully it'll help you uh, make the best decision for your vehicle. So the General Grabber ATX, the Cooper Discover AT3 4S, the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac, and the Hankook Dynapro AT2 are all-terrain tires. Now, starting with the General Grabber ATX, this tire comes with a three-peak mountain snowflake, and all the tires seen in the video today do come with a three-peak mountain snowflake as well, uh, except for, uh, as per my knowledge, uh, a few sizes in the Duratrac. And for uh, the Grabber ATX, uh, this tire comes with Duragen technology to assist with strength and durability. And a couple key points that the tire comes with are a footprint that is wide and then the tread blocks uh, are unique and angled. So we'll just take a look uh, and again this is the General Grabber ATX in here and we can see again uh, just some of those tread blocks that I can see in through here uh, especially throughout the center of the tire. Now moving on to the Cooper Discover AT3 4S. Uh, and a feature I would like to point out is the adaptive traction technology that helps with gripping a variety of surfaces. And additionally, the tire comes with technology to assist with snow traction and zigzag sipes to help with control. So let's just take the tire here so that way we can see some of the tread elements and again, just some of those zigzag sipes uh, to point some of that out to give you that view. Again, this is for the Cooper Discover AT3 4S. And then uh, now taking a look at the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac. Uh, this tire comes with tractive groove technology, which assists with performance in both mud and snow. And I also want to mention the tread blocks in the center of the tire and that they are uh, angled. And then I also want to highlight uh, the large shoulders on the tire in through here. And then again, we'll just come down here just to see again, some of the angled tread blocks within the center of the tire to give you that viewpoint for the Duratrac. And then uh, as we're taking a look here for the Hankook Dynapro AT2, uh, this tire has biting edges that help with uh, traction in instances such as snow. And uh, this tire also has uh, some pro mileage technology to increase contact with the road as well. Uh, so let's just take a look at, again, uh, some of the tread elements and the tread design in through there uh, to give you that viewpoint. Now I'll just spend a second and go down through the row for each tire. That way you can just see, uh, again, some of the tread elements uh, as well as a tread pattern for each. So here is the Hankook Dynapro AT2, just to give you that viewpoint. Uh, and then moving over here, we have the Cooper Discover AT3 4S. So you can take a look in through here uh, as that is, uh, again, the AT3 4S. Uh, moving over here, we have the General Grabber ATX, and again here, I just wanted to point out some of those uh, tread blocks, again, that are angled throughout the tire. And then uh, lastly, we have the Duratrac as well in through here to give you that viewpoint. Again, just to take a look at the tread pattern, and then see each one uh, one by one, as I know sometimes uh, many of you may be considering maybe more, op more than one option uh, for each of these tires. And I hope you're able to get some value out of this video, especially if you're uh, taking a look at either one of these tires or multiple of them uh, for your consideration for your vehicle. And if you're able to get some value out of this video, could you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel down below. I would definitely appreciate it and thank you and I'll see you in the next one.